Okay, here we go then everyone. Let's get started in last match of the group series. Playing against Viking Prime. Good luck. <laughs> say hi to YouTube for me. YouTube, say hi to Viking Prime. Say hi back. Do it. Alright, a lot of air in this starting hand, but that's okay. Oh, good god, what is this? Eye of Eagle. Is this some kind of, like, weird combo deck? Hmm, I wonder what creature he got. Oh, amazing. Okay. So we got a good two drop here. Let's just slam that. I, oh, this might be. This might be Growth Decay. Yeah! Ugh. Growth Decay multi resource. This is gonna be a slog. I remember I used to absolutely hate this matchup back when I used to play this deck before. Oh! Can we get an Earthborn Mystic? No. Yeah, so we have to be the aggro deck here. We have to be the aggro deck here. That's gonna be tough. I don't know what, uh... I don't know what AoE they play. Okay. Yeah. Do I just... I think I just toss that. He's not gonna be playing any creatures. There's like growth decay, ramp, and creatureless control. Brave is nice. Half of me just wants to play these no 80s and go aggro, but I think we just lose to the first quake too hard if we do that. Yeah. All right, well, let's get the center idol dead. <laughs> Definitely can play in the late game against this deck. It's just very, very tough and annoying, and I feel like I feel like what I'm supposed to do is just set up for a good god hand and then win with that god hand. Okay, rat gang, sure. Have some rats. I'm just gonna ignore them. <laughs> Ooh! That's a good draw. Okay. Does he have a combo with these rats? I'm not sure what's going to happen. We'll just play our dudes, I guess. Maybe he plays Kimfolk Veteran. It'd be a bit annoying. Yeah, so the veteran buffing the attack of our enchanted evader back up. Languid says enchanted units attack is decreased by two. But Earthborn Mystic says enchanted creatures you control have plus one attack. So we get to get our pillage in there and get a bit of ramp on. Am I supposed to kill these rats? I really don't know. I think he's gonna quake them away himself. <laughs> So why is he just going up on growth every turn? That's a little scary. Oh, Sister of the Owl is good, I think.
Okay. So I'm just prioritizing getting down creatures that can attack at the moment. Because I do want to deal with these idols quickly. That's why I'm not playing the Verdant Remnants. Yeah, there's Quake, sure. Okay, we we get the center idol down now at least. Let's play this. Ragged Wolf. I think that's not what we're in for. Um, we'll go up to seven in case we draw God Hand. Okay, center idle down. <laughs> We're on the board. Languid. Okay. That's fine, I think. Cross scale, that's annoying. Are we scared of the second quake? Not really. So I'm just gonna play a couple of creatures, I think. Or oh, a couple of structures, rather. Because we are keeping up with him on resources. For now. So he's getting to the uh, late game, and his deck is built around the late game even more than ours is. So that's why I want to that's why I want to keep the pressure going. But we can keep up for now. Nog nest, okay. On ground. Wanna kill that nog nest? Probably, right? I think I'd rather just play creatures. Yeah. I'm not sure I can afford to play another tree that doesn't hit idols here. Yeah, we're just gonna play two creatures. Hmm. I think, okay, so there is a, I want to say three growth spell. I don't remember what it's called. Something about nature that uh, gives everything minus one, minus one, and then gives you a decay if you kill something, I think. Oh no, it's uh, it's like in a, it's like in an area. So I think I'm going to try and play around that. Brainless. Okay. Oh, rallying. Yes, let's go. Let's go. I'm supposed to just play rallying, right? Maybe Ragged Wolf. We can kill another idol. We should probably do that. <laughs> And we'll hit here so we can win with God Hand next turn in theory. Getting a nice amount of ramp off the Vegas. Actually ahead of him in ramp. Two idols down. I'm liking our chances this game. I think we're doing well. This matchup is scary, but I think we're I think we're doing fine. Okay. Sure. Still haven't seen any god hands. <laughs> oh no, we sacked two right at the beginning, that's right. Oh, that sucks. Mm, we can draw off Skythorn if we play Rat King, Sister of the Owl, so let's do that. That threatens a pretty huge god hand as well. I think he plays God Hand too, actually. 
So let's be mindful of that. <laughs> Which I guess is what this means. Scared of he's scared for his top idol. It's good. We're still even on resources. Okay. I can do that too. End of reason no. Maybe let's fertile soil and try to find a second rallying. Okay, that's fine. Could have a quake coming down next turn, which would be a bit annoying. Not really sure what play is here, so I'm just going to spend my mana. And we're going to draw a card off Skythorn this way, so we're not getting completely destroyed by quake. He's pretty priced into playing his Quake now if he has it. Though he has played two so far, so it would have to be the third one. Otherwise we're getting two cards off of these trees. Actually, the uh, the other multicolor ramp spell, I think it's called a road. It's like one growth. What does it do? It deals like two damage to a structure and then gives you a decay, something like that. Okay, so there's the last Quake. I mean, we did see it coming, but I'm still a bit annoyed. <laughs> Man. I don't think we have any Kingfolk veterans left, but that would be lethal. What's the play here? I think I replace this. I want to kill that Nog. I didn't think so. Meant to kill this? Probably not. Smack the idol, whatever. It's totally even on resources. Got a full hand of scrolls. We do have pressure. I think we have one god hand left in these seven cards, and once we Samata shift. Oh, Oh, that's cool! Seed of Insurgency. So Samantha Shift pulls a creature out of his deck, so he obviously only has a couple of creatures that are all good to get with Samantha Shift. Seed of Insurgency. And it's destroyed, it's resummoned. Okay, so, and this guy draws scrolls when he dies. Oh, where, 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 where is our stinking god hand? I did take one rallying out of the deck. We're just playing two rallyings right now. I think we're just going to spam the board. He doesn't have quake. He's used all of his quakes.
So this should be okay. Ooh, that's cute. Sacrifice target unit you control. Add that unit's cost to your current resources. Oh, so he has a lot of decay, but okay, he's just playing another Oblivion Seeker. Yeah, so we're... I don't know how we're still even on resources against this, because he is getting so much value. <laughs> but okay. Okay, we're doing good. Now this is the kind of point where I could use an end of reason to just blow open this row and then hit with my dudes. Maybe I should have thought of that. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop! Stop playing cards! Start here. Okay, there's our god hand. So we have no AD god hand, and that's just lethal right up here. Wow. What a slog. Literal last card in our deck. That's <laughs> the last god hand. Cool. That went better than I expected, based on the matchup. Okay, this time around I will sideboard. So let's take out these, take out all of our sweepers, and put in some threats. Uh, a couple Jarls sounds good. Probably want the last sister of the fox. Ooh, hang on, and then... Ungrounds can come out for stag hearts. I think. Okay. So I just took out all the removal, so hopefully he doesn't play an aggro deck right now. <laughs> I'm hoping he sticks with the same deck. But I, th I think we might need the help against that deck, so that's why I wanted to sideboard. Yeah. Oh Jesus Christ, what is this? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> okay, this hand is fine. Okay. Scavenger Construct. When an adjacent unit is destroyed, Scavenger Construct gets plus two health. So the combo here is with Animavore, which says when an adjacent unit is destroyed, you draw a card and it loses one life. Two main rats. Okay, this is terrifying. I think it's still rallying. He's down to one scroll already, so that's something. <laughs> Harvester, okay. Is he poisonous? It's... Attacks or is damaged by. So I don't want this guy to get poisoned, so we'll... Just give him a sacrificial sister of the fox, I think. This will trigger the harvester, sadly, but that's okay. 
Oh, actually, we don't have any removal for the harvester now. Hmm. 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 This is gonna be fun. That harvester is going to be a big problem. Play around that. Wait, hang on a minute. What? This this has got to be a different growth decay deck, right? Yeah. He was playing some artist shift, and now he's playing mangy rat. Okay, so Viking Prime, I guess, is just the uh, Growth Decay aficionado. I think we're just gonna go... I think we're gonna get rid of this Kinfolk Veteran. It's good, but like... Oh wait. I didn't think this through. Because <laughs> one of our rats is gonna get poisoned. But that's okay, we can... Yeah, whatever. Whatever, okay. Goodbye, rat. Your services were short-lived, not useful in the slightest, and yet still appreciated. Thank you, rat. I don't know. Maybe he hits an idol. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't want to make... No, okay. Black rat kills white rat. Vita of the What is this deck? I, I'm not sure whether to be impressed or like... What is going on? Is it the Yarl or the sister? It's gotta just be the Yarl, right? really doing the rat deck thing. Ooh, end of reason, that's removal. Cool. Okay, we're just gonna let this harvester do its thing, I think. I think we have to. Do I keep this? I feel like I have to keep that. Can I get rid of Sister of the Owl? I'm gonna do that, even though that's a good play this turn. I do want to kill this Vader is the problem, but I also want to play both of these. Okay, we'll Fertile Soul the Vader then. This is fine. This is fine. So now I think about it, this Scavenger Construct is never going to die. And I think we've already sacrificed all of our Yarls. Okay, Animal Forge. There we go. Idle down, sure. Okay.
Okay, unfortunately that's going to draw him a bunch of cards if I want to blow up this lane. Oh, okay. I think I have a plan. So, moving this guy was a mistake. So if I can get three units on this row, so Rat King, Noedi, end of reason, and then move a unit down. Wait, no, I need... This is going to get plus two health, so I'd need three power. Come down. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to build out a massive board. Like a huge, huge board. And then we're going to God Hand. We're not going to kill this throw. We might kill this, but we're mainly just going to go for his idols, I think. I think that's the best course of action. So do I snipe this with the veteran? This this rat is so annoying, I should have killed it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. Whatever. Have some rats. So I think we are so far ahead on cards. Not particularly worried about giving him a couple off of his scavenger construct. What I am worried about is that Harvester, which is going to come back and wipe our lane of rats after we got hand. I suppose we could actually try killing his board. Ooh, interesting. If we go for... Actually, it's super interesting. Oh, but I can't reach the Harvester because of this tree. Hmm. Well, yeah, now we can just kill his board, right? So we... Is that even good? So we can go Noedi, Sister, End of Reason. This goes up to 9, down to 3, then we Kinfolk Veteran it. Everything dies, he gets 2 scrolls. Alternatively, alternatively something involving God Hand maybe? There's no lethal, right? No. Yeah, we gotta just wipe his board. It's a shame to lose our trees. But okay. So here we go. Oh, we're getting value off of this tree anyway. So that's fine. No lady. End of reason. Veteran. Beta. Here we go. Whew. <laughs> okay, so we're way up on resources. He has some scrolls. Most of them are probably weird rat scrolls. We killed the harvesters. Okay, there's another harvester, sure. This is what we signed up for. Okay. If you leave it there, it's exposed to Sister God Hand. Okay, now we're talking. Sister the Fox. I'm gonna play Ragged Wolf to kill an extra rat. Not really. God Hand, get our ramp up. Okay, now we're firing on all cylinders. End of reason, coming in clutch, proofing it's all the removal that you need. 
Having undergrounds would have made that a lot easier. But that's okay. Now fertile soil. This is a weird deck, I like it. Earthborn Mystic. Okay. Uh, yeah. That'll do. So once we've got the Skythorns rolling, we want to be doing our best to play four creatures every turn so you can draw an extra scroll every turn. So that's why I went for that play pattern. Okay, the zone rat king. Pestis! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Enchanted creature has plus one attack for each rat on that side. When enchanted creature destroys another unit, summon a mangy rat on a random tile on the same side. God, I wish I had a quake right now. Okay, sack a rat. Ooh. That's good, right? We lose our Skythorn. Then we can just play another one. So I'm all in for that. Don't ask me why I'm putting the Skythorn here. It's a very bad spot for it, but that's where I'm putting it. <laughs> and I don't regret it in the slightest. <sighs> okay, he's drawing some more scrolls, he's trying to keep up. Keep up with the value. Okay, we're just gonna snipe that. We don't want any more animivore nonsense. Okay, so Kinfolk Veteran. Then I, we can do Sister of the Owl Brave, and that's four creatures, so let's do that. And should be lethal. Full scale, okay. Oh my goodness gracious me. Return to nature. Yeah, minus one health. And then you get a growth. He's playing Frost Scale and his mangy rat deck. A road? Okay. He's just turned from a rat deck into a a ramp deck. Alright. Rallying, does that get us there? Hmm. 
Owl. Four, eight, so we can kill the top two. Are we one mana off? Yeah, we're one mana off for you four, I think. Okay, we're still gonna do that play though. I guess it's not clear that we should play no AG if it's not giving us lethal. So we won't. This is a cool deck. I just don't know what's gonna happen. Let's look for lethal, I guess. Good hand. I mean, I guess I'm gonna do this. Are we gonna get him with the Kinfu Gyal lethal? Down mid? Oh my god. Ooh! <gasps> oh, we're one mana short of playing both Yarls. GG. <laughs> the general comes out to lead his forces to victory. Alright, GG's to Viking Prime. Those are some cool decks. I was pretty scared about the first one, not gonna lie. And then the rats came out and I'm like, well, what's going on? And then the rat deck was just a control deck all along, and here we are. We managed to get there. What have I learned? Never sideboard. Never sideboard with this deck, because you never know when they're just going to play a rat deck. <laughs> yeah, no, thanks for the game, so I can prime. So we went 3-0 uh, in our group stage. Six game wins, no game losses. Feeling pretty good about that. So uh, next up will be the finals. I think it's some kind of elimination thing. I don't know. Should be fun. <laughs> I expect that'll be starting in about a week or so, maybe a bit more. So I look forward to those games. I uh, hope you've all been enjoying this brief return to content creation. Yeah, Scrolls is a fun game, I guess. <laughs> it's good to be back. Alright, see you guys later. <laughs>